Today, I'm gonna show my man, Pac, how to create an NFT on OpenSea, and you can learn too. Let's go. Let's go. The first thing you gotta do is create a MetaMask wallet. So you're gonna type in metamask.io. Boom. Now you make sure it says metamask.io at the top because there's scammers out there. They might change one letter. Next, you're gonna click download. If you're using a Chrome browser, you're gonna install MetaMask for Chrome. This is a browser wallet. So it'll show as an extension, a browser extension. So you're gonna click add to Chrome. You're gonna click add extension. The reason you need a MetaMask wallet is because that's where you're gonna store crypto and your NFTs that you're gonna mint on OpenSea. Welcome to MetaMask, let's get started. All right, so new to MetaMask. If it's no, that means you already have a secret recovery phrase. So you this is not for you. You'll be importing a wallet if you did that. We're new. So you're gonna get set up. Click create a wallet. Agree to their terms. Read them first. <laughs> now, first thing you're gonna do is create a password. So this password that you created is not your secret recovery phrase. It's just a password to log in under this computer on this browser. It's not the secret recovery phrase. You do wanna write it down and make sure you memorize it, but this is not the password that you would use to restore your wallet if you took it to another computer. This will only work on this one. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Basically, right behind there is your secret recovery phrase. You get out a pad and pen and you write it down. Don't lose it. So now they're gonna ask you to confirm your secret recovery phrase. So you're gonna type it in what you wrote down. Let's do it. Congratulations, now you're ready to get started. Now you got your MetaMask wallet. It's actually part of your browser extension where that little puzzle piece is right there. That's how you access it. It shows in the extensions right now. Your public key is right here. That's your address. If you click it, it'll expand the whole thing. It's a long series of numbers and letters. That's the one you would give to people if they're gonna send you money. Now I'm about to tell you the thing that most tutorials don't tell you. Write down your private keys. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first thing you do is click on those three dots, click on account details, and it says right there, export private key, click that. And you're gonna put in your password and then it's gonna reveal your private keys. I would write that down too. This password is that very first password you used when you first got set up. If you ever wanna find out what your secret recovery phrase is, you can go to circle, hit support, security and privacy, reveal secret recovery phrase. They're gonna ask you to put in your password and then they'll show it to you. So now we've got MetaMask set up, now we're gonna head over to OpenSea so you can create your NFT and we're gonna do it on Polygon so you don't need any money to actually get started because Polygon is no gas fees. We're not gonna do it on Ethereum, so let's watch. You're gonna go to OpenSea.io and just like everything else, S-E-A, OpenSea, OpenSea.io. And you're gonna make sure you're on the right website. This is what it looks like. You make sure it says OpenSea.io and not any other scammer website. Click that one to connect your wallet. Click that to connect your wallet. You can connect your MetaMask. This is gonna pop up and they're gonna ask you into your password, not your secret recovery phrase. So that's the wallet right there. So you click next, connect. All right, now you're in. So now you click create. They're gonna ask you to sign just to accept the terms of OpenSea. You do everything through your wallet. So you click sign, go to create new item. So the first thing you wanna do is pick what piece of media you wanna turn into an NFT. You're gonna do a picture or video, what you gonna do? Picture. All right, let's go. One more important thing you'll notice, it says it has to be less than 100 megabytes. That's the biggest file they'll allow. So Pac uploaded a picture from his album cover, All Bad. Just by following instructions, you're gonna scroll down and fill out the rest of the required fields. So the first thing you're gonna do is name your NFT. He's typing in the name right now. And really, you're not gonna be able to change this. So make sure you get it right the first time you do it. Uh, if you had to, you could burn the NFT and make a new one. Luckily, we do it in some polygons. It's not going to cost you anything, but you want to get this information correct because you're not going to be able to edit it. All right, they give you the option to put an external link. Like if you've got a website or something like that, you want to connect to it, and then you're going to fill out the description that describes your NFT. In this case, he's copying in the link of where you can find the music video on YouTube. The next section is called Collection. If this is your first one, you can just name it, or you'll have a drop down where you can pick from other collections you got. You're going to just call it Fusion. In this case, properties level stats don't really apply. I mean, you could make up something if you wanted to, but a lot of that is for like NFTs that are in video games and stuff where there's different attributes for it. In this case, he doesn't really need that. If you wanted to have unlockable content, you could do that, but then you have to put in where they would get, like what web address they would get the unlockable content from. Enter content access key to resume. If you wanted to have unlockable content with the NFT, so whoever purchased it would get this access and you would put the code right here. In this case, we're not doing that. Now this is the important part. Right now their default is on Ethereum. So you're gonna change that to Polygon. Now it's on Polygon. Now they're gonna ask you the number of copies. 
that changed before it wasn't available. Now you can put in how many copies of this you want to sell. So how many of this uh, NFT do you want to be able to put on sale? Two. 10, all right, let's put in 10. Do not press freeze metadata, just click create. Boom, congratulations, you created Pac-Man Fever. Yeah. You can share it or do whatever you want to do with it. It's your first NFT, man. You feel me? We out here. Out here, Threads, Culture, and Fashion, East mm -hmm. Oakland. Fairfax. So you can check it by clicking your profile. Click the circle, click profile. It's gonna come up, you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna see that you have one collected, and there it go right there. Cool. Click on it, and then it's just gonna show it. This is the NFT. And next, we're gonna go and try to sell it. So hit sell. And over here, you're gonna input the information that says how much you wanna sell it for. So how that's in Ethereum. That's the option. And it tells you right there how much that is. But it's $100,000, 30 Ethereum. <laughs> <laughs> this is a valuable NFT right here. Don't get it twisted. You said how long you want it to be on sale for. You see the fees right there, go ahead. After you select how long you want it on sale for, you just hit complete listing. Complete your listing. You hit unlock. It pulls this up so you can complete with this currency. Hit sign. This is so now you can use Wrapped Ethereum with this wallet. You only got to do it one time. So now that you authorized Wrapped Ethereum, you can sign it to complete the listing. They always approve transactions through the MetaMask wallet. Your NFT is now listed for sale. Congratulations. I can <laughs> shit, fool. Congratulations, uh, man. You First me. NFT created right there <laughs> on OpenSea. It's really not that hard. Fuck for a minute, but I got it. It's not that hard, but you just need someone to show you how to do it one time, and then you'll get it. It's no problem.